my name is Zan Ta, and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencast, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at the roof command, specifically the roof by footprint. Here I am in a Revit architectural standard project. I have some basic walls already created. In the architecture tab of the ribbon, build panel, roof command, if you hit the little black arrow next to it, <clears throat> you can expand and see roof by footprint, roof by extrusion, roof by face, and other tools. This screencast will cover roof by footprint. We start the command. Revit goes into what's known as sketch mode. Everything's very light and gray. And the objective is for you to draw the magenta lines that represent the bottom of the roof. If we go to the type selector, we can pick the type of roof that we want to work with. And in the contextual modify create roof footprint tab, you'll see you have drawing tools to help you place these lines. For example, in the options toolbar, we can also specify that it has slope. We can also specify if it has an overhang and if it goes into the core or not. When I go to place the lines, I can left click one time and pick just that segment or I can not do that and hit the tab key and it will highlight all the walls that are joined. Left click your mouse once and it gets created. If you do it this way, it's fairly quick and easy. <coughs> When you're in sketch mode, the objective is to make sure that you have one clean loop, no gaps, no overlaps, no stray lines anywhere. For example, like this. If you are working with the software and you do something like this, it's not acceptable because it's not sure how this thing closes. You can't do this because it's going past it. And then lastly, you just can't have a stray line like this because it doesn't mean anything to the software. Once you have your sketches created, you can either individually change the slope for each line or you can slope change all of the slope at one time in the instance property. When you're finished, you hit the green check mark and the roof will be created for you. If your roof plan looks a little strange like this, it's because the cut plane hasn't been specified properly and it's actually cutting through the roof. If I go to the edit under the view range, I can change this to be some cut plane height to be higher than that of the top of the roof. And when I do this, it'll get corrected. If I look at it in 3D, you can see the roof has been created. If you need the walls to extend up to the underside of the roof, you can select all the walls and click attach top to this roof that you select and it will get created and stretched. And there you go. That's Roof by Footprint. Thank you for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.